It's been years since I did a what's in my bag video. I carry a backpack with me every day. It's the same bag that comes with me to the office, the same bag I take with me when I travel. I've had a lot of questions about what I carry with me. So I'm gonna tell you everything that I got going on in my dude purse. So first, the bag. This is the in-case icon. It's actually a recommendation from your average consumer. So thanks, Judner. And I absolutely love this bag. First, I love that it had a chest strap. When I'm traveling, usually the bag's pretty weighed down. It takes a lot of weight off my shoulders. I love the storage in it. I love the durability of the bag. Uh, I've had it for about a year. It still looks brand new. Uh, it doesn't hurt my back when I don't have the chest strap. It's got durable poles. Everything about this just works for me. It's not cheap though. It's one of the more expensive things that I've got. It costs about $200, available in about seven different colors. And if you wanna take a look at any of the stuff I'm gonna mention, we'll link to it all down below. We've been gradually switching for editing over to PCs to edit on Premiere Pro. So the latest addition is a Razer Blade Pro, and this thing is an absolute beast, a 17-inch screamer, and it's awesome to edit on. Uh, it's got a full 1080 inside, 32 gigabytes of RAM, 4K screen. It gives us desktop level performance in a kind of portable, mostly portable uh, laptop size. We've been playing a lot of Battlegrounds here in the office. The thing's been awesome for it. It's got all the stuff you'd expect from Razer. It's got the Chroma keyboard. It's a full mechanical keyboard too. It feels awesome. The trackpad takes a little bit of getting used to. It's kind of off to the right, but performance wise, this thing has been absolutely incredible. So next up, I don't go anywhere without keeping one tile with me, and this is a tile slim. Pick up a four pack for a hundred bucks. They're essentially Bluetooth trackers. I've got one in my wallet. Uh, my wife has one in her purse. I've got one attached to my keys. I lose stuff. This helps me not to lose stuff. It's not like a GPS, which I wish that it was. Uh, it's more of a Bluetooth tracker, so you have to be in the vicinity of it, or someone who has another tile has to be in the vicinity of it. Uh, it's kind of a slight knock on the tile, but if you lose stuff that's usually nearby you, uh, it's a great option for that. What's out of my pocket? My Galaxy S8 Plus is my go-to phone. Uh, Verizon is currently the carrier that I'm using. Uh, I've got a bear case on it, if you guys have been following my cracked my Galaxy S8 story. Uh, our former editor-in-chief, Roy Choi, sent me a link to Bear Case from Instagram, so I tried it. It's a really thin case, so I've got it on there. See if it, if it protects it or not. Uh, it's not cheap, it's about 30 bucks for a case that I don't think it's gonna necessarily do that much. That's not the only phone I carry, especially when I'm traveling. I added this to the bag to show you what I take with me when I am going somewhere. And this is an unlocked phone. In this case, it's an unlocked iPhone 7 Plus. I'm going along with that. I also have a SIM card holder. Motorola sent this to us in a press kit a few years back, and it's been awesome to have. So I usually have SIM cards from all the other carriers. In case I need to tether, I can find a carrier that's going to be the fastest. And when I'm editing or one of the team is editing, usually we're editing off a Samsung T3 drive. These are some of the best external drives out there. They're incredibly fast, and they've got the USB-C interface. Uh, not cheap, though. They start about 150 bucks for 250 gigs. They go up to two terabytes for just under 800 bucks but if you want to edit not on your internal drive uh, this is an incredibly fast option to have I generally don't go anywhere without some sort of battery pack and the one that I've been carrying with me now for almost a year is the anchor power core plus it's got a USB-C port, it's got two USB-A ports, uh, and this thing is a beast with over 20,000 milliamps uh, of power. This has gone with me everywhere. It's been thrown around, it's durable, it's been dropped without any issues whatsoever. It charges really fast. I like LED indicators on it. If I have to pick one battery pack to carry with me, this is it. Mostly if I'm traveling for a week, I don't even bother bringing power bricks. This thing will just keep me going. When I'm not relying on the camera in my phone, I do like to bring my old camera. This is the Sony RX100, the, the Mark I, the very first RX100. I still just like the way the photos look. I like the manual controls. Uh, the auto modes are really good. It takes still pretty good looking video, but I need that in a pinch. I haven't found the reason to upgrade yet. RX100 is an awesome camera. I carry this mostly because I think it's cool and takes up almost zero space. This is the Kingston DT Micro Duo, uh, 64 gigabytes of size. Essentially, it's got two different mail ports. It's got USB-C and USB-A, so no matter what computer I happen to be using at the time, I can plug that in. I can drop files on it. I can give them to, to Andrew or Mark for editing, or I can take them back to the office. It's a really awesome, versatile uh, little USB drive to have. I also, depending on what computer I'm using or editing on, I'll usually carry a USB-C Thunderbolt 3 dongle. In this case, I've got the unnecessarily expensive Apple dongle that gives me an HDMI port. 
USB-A port, and then an extra USB-C Thunderbolt 3 port. And then I've got to some other random cables. Uh, my USB-C cable is the one that comes with the MacBook. Uh, I've got a lightning cable if I have to charge the iPhone if I'm doing a lot of data intensive stuff with it. Uh, I've got a micro USB cable. I sort of cover all of my cable bases, whatever I think I might need. So for headphones, I'm currently rocking the Crusher Wireless from Skull Candy. These $200 headphones bring the bass unlike any bass I have ever heard. If you like your music with a ton of bass, these things sound absolutely incredible. It's got an adjuster where you can slide it to adjust how much you're actually gonna be getting into your ears. But if you wanna watch a movie, if you wanna play a game, listen to your music, it is incredible and super immersive. And if you turn the bass all the way up and put them on your neck, you kinda get a little bit of a neck massage going. Uh, I also really like the battery life. They last way over 40 hours. I have a hard time finding headphones that are comfortable. These actually have memory foam in the ear cup, which has made them really enjoyable uh, and not painful, like I've had with some other headphones to wear for hours on end. And also the, the kind of subtle branding. It wasn't like giant skull candy or giant logo uh, on the sides. I kind of appreciated that. So again, if you want to pick these up, we'll link to them down below. We'll include a discount code there. It's crusher20-3 for 20% off plus free shipping. So that's all the stuff that's in my bag. It's a lot of stuff. It's not the lightest bag in the world, but it works for me. It's a practical man's bag. I'm missing something though that's awesome that you guys carry every day. Let me know, maybe we'll do an updated video. If you guys wanna see more what's in my bag videos from me or other guys in the staff, give the video a thumbs up to let us know. This is a fun one to sort of go back and take out all the stuff that I carry with me day to day to see what was actually in there. I forgot I even had some of those, those cables going on in there. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, I'm John Rettinger from Buffalo.